guys, so today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites and I'm really excited because I have some really fun things to share with you guys and I'm pretty, pretty stoked about this. Um, so October has come and gone. I'm actually filming this the day before Halloween. So tomorrow's Halloween. That's super exciting. Um, tell me in the comments below what you guys are going as for Halloween. Me and Trey already went to a Halloween party last weekend and we dressed up like Sandy and Danny from Greece. Um, we posted pictures on our Instagram. So if you want to check out my Instagram, you guys can see us dressed as Sandy and Danny. I also think I posted something on Twitter too. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun and I got to wear my disco pants, which is always exciting because there's always like a hard time to figure out when you can wear your disco pants and what better time than when you're going to be Sandy from Greece. Um, so I have some makeup favorites and some beauty, some random, some music. So let's get started. So first is my new hair color. Look how cute it is. I freaking love it. So um, I dyed my hair, as I'm sure you guys can see. It's not the purple anymore, but it still has a little bit of purple in it. It's like an auburn, auburn, <laughs> auburn color with um, purple on top of it. So where the purple used to be, it picked up. Um, that purple color more and then where the purple wasn't it picked up that auburn color so I had bleached my hair and only like in the back so the front was still my natural color so towards the back was where I bleached it and dyed it purple so from like the bleach and the purple that was already there really picked up the um, purple so the top is kind of more purple and then like when you look more underneath it's more auburn and then like my roots are more auburn because the um what am I trying to say the bleach <laughs> grew out so it's kind of like this ombre purple color and oh, I love it so much and it just it's fall like let's be honest this is fall right here this is a fall hair color so my next favorite is this bag oh this is Zoella's new beauty line and I picked up her bag basically everything was sold out when I went to buy some items. I really wanted her perfume and, or is it like a body mist, and her candle, but they were sold out. And I really, really wanted this one, and I was so happy that this was still here because, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And it's like the perfect size. It has all the makeup in it today that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, but oh, it's so cute, and I have been loving this because it is like the perfect size to fit all your makeup and all like your brushes and everything. It's really like big and like that boxy shape so it's just really easy to like open and oh, it's so cute too like how cute next is a blush that I've been loving and I'm wearing it today I'm actually wearing all the products I'm going to show you guys because I'm on my game day right now and I made sure to do that so this is from the balm this is their instain blush and this is in the color houndstooth I love this blush this is fall that's a fall blush right there it's like a rosy plum mauve color and their in stain blushes are amazing because they last all day they're super long wearing blushes and it's just amazing for when you have like you know a full day and you don't want to have your blush for me my blush always goes like splotchy does anyone else have that where like a clump will just be missing this blush does not do that and it lasts all day it's just I just feel like when I wear it, I feel like a basic B because I have fall on my cheeks. I have fall hair and I got fall on my cheeks. I just love this color. It's gorgeous. And the packaging, so cute, right? So cute. Next is a lip color and it's what I'm wearing today. It's actually, it's kind of worn off. I, I ate with it on. Better? I think so. This is the MAC lipstick in Plumful. I talk about this lipstick a lot around this time of year. I just love it. It is one of my favorite MAC lipsticks and I almost want to say it is my favorite MAC lipstick. This is like the best ever. If you're looking to like start a MAC lipstick collection or you want to get your first one or you're just starting off or if you have one and you want something to add to it, Plumful is the bomb. It's a luster yeah it's a luster finish so it's a little bit more sheer and just like easier to wear it is gorgeous it is like this beautiful plum color like raspberry rosy plum 
Is that my color? Did I, did, is that this what that is? It's like a rosy raspberry color. That's what we'll call it. And it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Next are two eyeshadow palettes, and I have been using them like together in conjunction with each other. It's what I'm wearing on my olives today because I'm an A-game. Um, it is these two. Oh! So this is the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics, and I love the Urban Decay Basics 1, and I know like not a lot of people like it. It's kind of, it's not a palette for everyone, but I love it, and I love the Naked Basics 2 more and I like it more because these are more of the kind of colors that I like I like more cooler toned neutral matte colors especially for like blending or putting in the crease I don't know it's just it looks better on my skin tone I like it more it's just more of a me palette it's really up to like you if you want the basic one or the two like which one you think is better I just like the two. I couldn't even like really give you a good reason. I just like the cool tones more. It's what I gravitate towards more to blend things out. So I don't know. But I have been loving this. I have used all the colors. I love them all equally. But the one that I really like is Cover. Just kind of like this almost like burnt reddy brown cool tone color. Does that make sense? I just love it. I think it's beautiful for the fall time and I love it in my crease. I love it on the outer corner. I'm wearing it today in my crease and then I have been loving using the NYX, I don't even know what this is called, NYX Dream, Dream Catcher Palette. That's in French. So I'm not going to read that. Maybe it's called Stormy Skies? Yes, Stormy Skies. And it's basically like the same kind of concept as the Naked 2, except not all matte colors and more colors. So it's like the cool tone, neutral colors, except there's, you know, some shimmery shades like right there, 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 there. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So there's some matte ones too, which I also really like. I've been loving this color right here, which is very similar to Cover, except it's a little bit lighter of a color. Been loving it the same way, but today... I use this like bluey purple color in the outer V of my eyes and along my lower lash line and it is so beautiful. It's just like a really fun and easy way to put color into your eyes and it doesn't look like you have blue eyeshadow on. You don't look like you're from the 80s, you know what I mean? So love this, love these two together. Definitely if you're on a budget, I recommend the NYX one. It's very similar to the Naked 2 one. It has similar colors in it too. So love these both, been enjoying these for this month of October. Yes. So moving on to music favorites, I have one song that I have been loving this month. It has been on repeat. I just have been jamming. It's called Left Hand Free and I don't know if the artist is called Alt J or like A-L-T-J. I'm not sure. I think it would be Alt J but I could com be completely wrong. I will play a little bit for you guys right now and I'll also link the music video down below so you can listen to the full song but here's like a few seconds of it. So I've just been enjoying that song so much like I've been loving like rocking out to it in my car with my windows rolling down and just like feeling like a PIMP just like jamming. I love like kind of like old rock indie kind of music so if you really like that kind of music too you will love this song so check out the full song and tell me down below if you guys like it because oh, I think it's so good I love it so moving on to TV shows favorites I have been obsessed with watching the Twilight Zone and it has literally become like a problem for my mental being because I watch so many episodes like in a row I start to go a little crazy because the Twilight Zone like really plays on like mental stability and like going crazy basically so I get myself so freaked out but funny story um I used to be super obsessed with the Twilight Zone like I want to say either like end of middle school or beginning of high school and funny I recorded the theme song the 
theme song where it's like do 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 in a world without sound on like my very first like cell phone and I had that as my ringtone to my phone so when people called me it would go do 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 and you'd hear the man like talking and I remember being in the mall and like my phone ringing and it just being like do 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 and just being like what's so wrong with me like I should not have this as my ringtone but I loved it I thought it was so cool I thought oh, I'm so hipster but Oh my gosh, I was obsessed with The Twilight Zone, um, but it's on Netflix right now and I've been re-watching them. It's so good. Ah, so good, especially for like this time of year. Well, by the time this video is up, Halloween will be gone, but it's so good. So if you have Netflix, check out Twilight Zone. It is amazing. So the next show that we have been loving, which I feel like I, I might have mentioned before, in one of my favorites or I've like talked about and I'm sorry if I have but it is the Dick Van Dyke show I love the Dick Van Dyke show like that is my shizness I love Dick Van Dyke so much okay moment I literally love Dick Van Dyke so much I think he is the most beautiful man I have ever seen in my whole life he is so handsome he is so gorgeous he is so talented he's funny he can dance like nobody's business Literally, if I ever met him, I would faint. I'm, like, getting excited. Like, I'm starting to, like, get hot because I'm talking about him. What is wrong with me? I think he is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I love Dick Van Dyke so much. But the Dick Van Dyke show is so good. It is so funny. Um, I've actually got my husband into it, which is funny because he doesn't, he doesn't really like black and white movies or TV shows. And this is just so... It is set, I mean, it takes place in the 60s, it was made in the 60s, but it's just so universally, like, funny that even today, things that he does, it's it's funny today. So, I love it. I love Dick Van Dyke. Oh, oh my gosh. So, check out Dick Van Dyke. It's on, or the Dick Van Dyke show. It is on um, Netflix, too, and it's so good. So, that is everything for my October favorites. Um, sorry I haven't been on here for a while. I tweeted out that I was having some, like filming issues. I just could not get what I wanted and I was just very unhappy with the stuff that I was filming so I didn't upload it but um yeah thank you guys for on Twitter though because you guys were so nice about it and being so supportive and understanding but it's very frustrating when this is kind of like something you love to do and it almost is like who you are as a being and you cannot <laughs> get what you want right. It's very frustrating to yourself and I don't want to say like it makes you feel like a failure, but it's just something that I put a lot of pressure on myself to make quality videos and when I cannot and like what I have in mind just does not come out, I get very upset. So thank you guys so much on Twitter, you guys were so sweet about it. Um, but yeah, this got like really dark really quick. Let's stay happy because it's almost November which means it's that much closer to Christmas. Um, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me some of your favorites in October. Were you loving some beauty, some fashion? Oh, I didn't talk about any fashion, did I? Next month. Um, music, TV shows, all that good stuff. Tell me down there. And I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.